so in this one, again, if we're trying to find our general antiderivative, the first thing we want to do is obviously try to simplify this because we don't have like a quotient rule for integrate or for the antiderivative or anti-differentiation. So I could rewrite this as you know x to the fourth over x squared minus two over x squared, right? So we can distribute that x squared into both of those, and when doing that. I get a simplified f of x as x squared um, minus, I'm going to write this as 2 to the negative exponent 2, x to the negative second power. All right, now to supply my power rule here for my anti-differentiation, I'll use capital F because this was the lowercase f. So therefore, this is going to be um, add 1, which is be 3, and then divide by 3. So it would be 1 third x cubed. Remember, we can t pull out this constant. And then here, we're going to add 1, which will give me a negative 1. So that's going to be 1 divided by negative 1 um, times x to the negative first power. Go ahead and simplify this. So I get 1 third x cubed. Negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be a positive 2. And then you could write that as x to the negative 1 plus c. I should actually add the c up there, too, because I actually did um, integrate. Or we could obviously still write this as x cubed plus 2 over x plus c. So just remember, once you integrate, um, you know, you're adding that c and 2 over x. Yep. Anybody have any other questions to work through on that, around that whole worksheet?